So from time to time, I get asked to look at some more novelty or some more unique items on this channel. And with that in mind, I was contacted by a company called Galaxy Alpha who do RGB uh, light projectors. These are the projectors that project like starlights and nebulas and space scenes um, onto your walls in different RGB colors. Um, and to be honest, this is not something that I would normally go for, but my daughter is absolutely obsessed with space at the moment. She's obsessed with aliens and monsters and all that sort of stuff. So when I showed her the picture of it and it was shaped like a UFO, she went she absolutely had to have it for her bedroom um, so with that in mind I decided I'd get it try it out and and see what it was like So Galaxy Alpha did send me this product, but I'm not sponsored by them, so this review is my own. Um, but they sent it to me to test out, and as I said, to be honest, this is not something I would normally buy myself, um, but I thought for somebody with uh, kids and who has um, a daughter who likes having that projecting up in the sky, or for somebody, like I said, who is interested in RGB lights or, you know, um, gaming and that sort of stuff and likes having that kind of colorful background, this might be an option. It is very much a novelty device, but it is something that a lot of people find cool, so I'll just quickly unbox it give you some impressions I do think it's useful that it has a Bluetooth speaker but we'll talk a little bit more about that later so this is definitely one of the more novel things that I've featured on the channel but my daughter is obsessed at the moment with um, projections on the ceiling and lights on the ceiling and stars and um, and in particular UFOs for some reason she's she's obsessed with aliens and stuff like that so when I was offered to try this out I wasn't sure at first but I thought you know what she'll get a kick out of this and I probably will too um, so this is it so the idea behind this is this is a little UFO that sits on your desk or sits on your floor and essentially projects the night sky onto the ceiling but it also doubles as a bluetooth speaker music speaker and so on and so forth so i'll just quickly unbox it and i do want to feature things on the channel that are a little bit more you know kind of novelty and a little bit more kind of interesting and um, so there's just a standard micro usb cable there yeah it is micro usb um, instructions under there i presume these are the legs that are popping out so i'm getting the feeling that this might be quite large um, i had thought it was going to be a little bit smaller i mean it doesn't make a difference but um, yeah, four little legs, and then underneath all the foam we have the instructions. And there's a QR code there, so it's obviously app controllable um, as well. So we'll get into that later on, but that's pretty standard manual. And then this is the device itself, or the... And this is it. And in fairness, that does look like a bit of a flying saucer. My daughter is absolutely going to love that. Um, and then it has this kind of crystal dome at the top, which I presume is what you know, it shoots out all the different stars and then there's kind of a laser thing here on one side. So obviously don't look directly into that, but that'll obviously project up. Um, and then there's some controls, play, pause, music, uh, microphone. So as far as I know from reading the, the brief description online, this can react to sound as well. So if you have music playing in the background, you can click that and it'll react to the sound, it'll react to the music. So I mean, I suppose if you're having a party or something and you want a little bit of a light show, um, this might be quite cool as well. It's got a USB port, on off button, and then the uh, micro USB connection where it plugs in. So it doesn't actually come with a plug, but you know yourself, um, you probably have dozens of um, USB plugs lying around your house or whatever already. So I'll just see if I can get the, the legs on first and foremost. So that's the four legs put in um, and that's it down. So um, I'm a bit of a minimalist in my apartment. So this isn't really gonna suit sitting in the living room or whatever else, but my daughter's room um, is littered with space stuff and toys and all that sort of thing. So she's gonna love this um, and she's gonna love the projection of the light on the ceiling. Um, but as I said, that is quite a, quite a big little, uh, big device. You know, I hadn't expected it to be quite so large, but um, let's see what it looks like when it's all set up, plugged in, um, and we get some light up and running. Okay, and you can see there the stars have kind of come on straight away in blue. So it's kind of projected on the back of the wall there. This is probably better off somewhere more central so that it's gonna be able to get the ceiling a bit better. So I'm just gonna turn off the light and show you what this looks like. Yeah, so the difficulty here is I've actually put it underneath a shelf. So it's projecting on the bottom of the shelf, but it also does um, project onto the ceiling as well. And it's, it's quite bright. I was surprised, I mean, it's not nighttime now. You can kind of see the light bleeding in from the window at the side there. Um, but with the curtains closed, this is super bright so you can see See all the detail and everything of the moon um, and all the stars you know projected onto that shelf just above even even with that little bit of light bleeding in from outside so that is super super bright and um, which is good because the difficulty with some of these things sometimes is that you know the, the, they're not that bright and they're not going to really project 
that clearly onto the ceiling, but this is really, really bright. You can see the green light there. That's kind of the laser that's projecting the flashing green dots on the wall. Um, you may not be able to see them very clearly, but the dots or the stars are kind of flashing green. Um, and then the blue orb in the middle is um, projecting the blue kind of cloudy nebula effect. And I've just seen a couple of shooting stars as well. Um, and I'll see if I can capture those. Okay, and straight away on the app, it's picked up the device. So I'm gonna try and connect to that now. So on the main screen, I can adjust the brightness. I can adjust the volume. I can adjust the microphone. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I th oh, that's the speed. The speed at which the nebula in the background kind of waves or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then there's quite a lot of app control here. So at the bottom, I can go into the palette and I can select the colors. Um, so that's pretty cool. So the, the laser inside and the colors inside are, let me get quite a lot of control. So um, what's really nice about that is that, again, some of these that I've looked at before, they're kind of limited in the color palette, um, but this does give you a, a full kind of color palette that you can select from um, and mix it up, which is quite nice. Uh, next is the music option. So I'm just gonna try putting on, I think there's some predefined sounds. Oh yeah, so there's a little lullaby. Uh, we do water sounds. Ooh, that's loud. Wow, so that's loud. Yeah. Um, the sound is a little bit kind of hollow, a little bit tinny as well. It's 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 not very crystal clear or anything like that, but it is very loud. Um, now that just might be the pre-recorded sound effects on here. So I'm just going to choose one more. So that's the sound of a train I've chosen. You can skip through these kind of night sounds. And have different kind of night sounds to entertain you. So not quite in a white noise machine, but it does let you have that option. So suffice to say, there is a lot of app control from different colors to different sound effects um, to um, different lighting effects, so changing color, nebula changing color, to spiral red and green, to um, spiral lots of different colors, turning on and off the stars, turning on and off the moon. So there's a huge amount of kind of options there in this. Um, there's timers, as I said, you can turn it on and off. Um, day and time, audio select, loop, you know, you can kind of really customize this to whatever way you want. But the other thing that you can do is if you don't have a speaker in the room, you can go back to the sound settings and go back to the sound settings and there's an option for Bluetooth mode. So if I tap that, it should now be in Bluetooth mode. So what I can do is on the menu of my phone, I can go into Bluetooth and I should be able to see the device in here. Uh, there it is, SC518, so I'm just going to pair that, and OK, Bluetooth and it says Bluetooth connected, as you can hear. And as you can hear, that's now playing from the device itself. So the sound actually isn't bad when you're playing from Bluetooth. So maybe it's just the sound effects that are a little bit tinny. There's not that much bass on it, um, but it does, you know, it's quite clear actually. So if you don't have an option for another speaker in your room, then this is definitely an option. So my only major criticism with this is that because I have it in my daughter's room, this little green light is um, not suitable for looking directly into. So I'm gonna have to just be careful that she doesn't like hover her head over this. Um, so for a kid's thing, you know, having a laser light, um, I might just turn that off or, or cover it with something uh, just, just to be sure that she doesn't go near it. Um, she should be fine, but you know, it's just something to be aware of. The other thing you'll notice is, as I mentioned before, at the back there is a USB port and what you can do is you can connect USB keys to that um, or USB drive and it will pick up and play MP3s and music from that. So look, as a novelty item goes, this isn't the worst thing in the world and my daughter's absolutely going to love all these stars and the star effects. 
um, and having the moon on the ceiling and whatever else probably not something I would buy if I didn't have kids um, but you know it is definitely something I know a lot of gamers and youtubers like having the kind of starry effects in the background or on their screen when they have RGB lights and everything in their room so this might suit somebody like that um, and because it's kind of an unusual shape and does have the benefit of the Bluetooth speaker it might suit some people the big positive I can say about this is the color and the brightness of it. There's a lot, of, a big mixture of colors. It can project multiple colors at once, which some of them can't do. Um, it has multiple controls and it has that Bluetooth speaker built in. Cons though, the music sound, I've tried a few different songs and it's not very bassy. It's not very, um, you know, rich uh, for music. So it's fine and um, it's clear, but it's, it's a little bit hollow. It's a little bit echoey. Um, and I would have liked a little bit more of a bass in it, particularly since the device is so big, they could have crammed in a slightly better speaker into it. The ability to control it with the phone is really, really cool. So I can kind of adjust it and play around and my daughter gets, um, you know, a bit of a kick out of seeing things change from time to time. And the fact that it can react to sound and music is really cool as she's playing in her room and the lights will change and flicker and change color. She really, really likes that as well. You really have to have this in the middle of the room to project onto all the walls and to the ceiling. It would be much better if there was an angled lens that you could put this in a corner um, and have a wide angle to project on three walls and the ceiling um, or four walls and the ceiling. But unfortunately, um, this isn't the case. It very much projects straight up. Um, and I don't want to put it on the ground either because then my daughter could potentially lean over it and look straight at that um, kind of LED laser light that you're not supposed to look directly at. I think the biggest disappointment though for me is that although it is app controlled, it seems to be only via Bluetooth. Um, and I couldn't get it to connect to something like the Toya Smart Life app. That would have been cool if I'd been able to connect it to the Toya Smart Life app and potentially control it with the voice controls or voice commands or set it on routines through my voice assistant. So price wise, the UFO one is $79. That's about 65 euro, which is kind of comparable to other ones that I've looked at that are out there. You can get some that are slightly cheaper, but they may not have say the Bluetooth speaker built in um, or the kind of asteroids uh, zooming across the heavens kind of thing that this has um, but this isn't the cheapest thing if you're just looking for something to project some light on your ceiling um, it may make a good present for somebody who loves that sort of stuff they also do a mini version which is much much smaller and um, less of you know an overly obvious kind of UFO design um, and that's $59 Galaxy Alpha also do projectors as well some miniature projectors that you can plug in and project a movie screen or laptop screen or whatever else on the wall so I'll leave a link to all of these down below. Incidentally, Galaxy Alpha also do free shipping worldwide. So that is a bit of a bonus that you're not going to be hit with extra shipping costs um, when you buy one of these products. As ever, if you have any questions on anything that I've mentioned in this video or on any other video on the channel, please do feel free to hit me up in the comments below. I'd really appreciate if you gave this channel a subscribe and smash that like button for the old YouTube algorithm. As ever, you can follow me on any of the social medias. But other than that, all that's left to say is bye-bye for now.